Hi my Cancer love, Spiritual Barbie here. Welcome back to my channel. This is the Spiritual Barbie and this is your August 2020 um, tarot reading for the, you know, for the month. Okay, so um, I'm going to start with the overall energy that Spirit has for you or just like the overall energy that's kind of surrounding you during this time for the month of August 2020. Okay, so I suggest you watch this video more than once. Watch it in the beginning if you want, but definitely watch it in the middle and at the end of the month of August 2020. I just, my guides um, keep telling me to say that, or I just feel like I need to keep saying that. So make sure you watch this more than once, you guys. Okay, so we have the eyes of beauty, positive expectations and clarity. So what happens when you expect the positive from everything? Well, you just get the positive, right? You may get some negative, but since we're only focused on, since we, you know, are only seeing the positive in situations as, you know, in a healthy way, obviously health, healthy, healthily seeing positive expectations in a situation, i.e. with clarity, um, you know, how things turn out or how we feel about situations. And so this month is daring you to see the world positively. Um, yeah. Okay. So this is all about this month. I really think some of you guys, and now I'm starting to worry. So now I can feel, I feel like cancer. This could be surrounding one area of your life or multiple areas in your life where maybe you worry, maybe things don't happen as quickly as you want them to happen. And maybe you kind of start to worry and you think that it's never going to happen. And you're kind of, I don't really see you facing your wound around that. I think if you have, if you are, you already have, right? I see you more so applying the lessons learned. And I wouldn't be surprised if I saw death here. I do see the four of swords and four vibrates under, you know, it's death. The four energy is, sorry, you guys, my table is really, really, yeah. And the four energy is one plus three equals four. So I tend to see like a correlation between fours and death. And um, I really think you have, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a death here. So we have the four of wands reversed. I really think that it's not about seeing the best out of a really bad situation. It's literally about seeing the best out of a really good situation. Okay, like, so, like, it's like, what if you just saw the world or saw the situation that you're in right now or spent, uh, you know, you know, spent this whole month seeing <clears throat> everything as the best thing ever? What would happen? You know, and that's so freaking cool. Like, that is so cool. I really feel like some of you cancers are doing that or you're deciding if you're watching this, you're gonna be like, hey, I should totally try that. When it comes to the situation, maybe that will help me. And here's the sun here. You know, sometimes, a lot of times you can't change the way that things are, you know? But you can totally change the way that you look at it. You can totally look at a situation that you would deem as, you know, heartbreaking or, you know, the end of your life as a whole new beginning, you know? You could see a breakup as, you know, the best thing that ever happened to you, you know, as your chance to broaden your horizon and to, and to expand. You could see a, you know, a, a, you know, maybe a loss of a job or a loss of a contract as an opportunity to, um, you know, to expand and to have more when it comes to your career or to your finances. This could even be something around um, a situation and from your past where you had a hard time making peace with it and you made peace with it. But I don't think that this is as delusional as it sounds because I feel like for a lot of you guys, this energy that you, when you start to inject that positive energy into the situation, it actually changes the situation. So it actually reflects something extremely positive. It's really about not lamenting and not lamenting in the sense of it is important to process your emotions and your grief, right? But when I say not lamenting, it's not letting that grief, you know, be be a, a signature part of the next chapter, you know? It's kind of being like, you know what? 
how many things have happened to me before and look where I am now, how many things are gonna, you know, you know, the things that are happening to me now or things I'm experiencing right now are gonna, you know, take me to the next level, you know? Even if that's just the way that you're looking at it. But it feels like for a lot of you guys, if it's a particular situation, a particular relationship, then maybe for some of you guys, you're not necessarily happy with it, but I feel like you do have love for this person and you have love um, and, you, and you really, you know, you do want to be with this person, okay? I really feel like there is a soulmate situation here, but maybe it's not the most positive or maybe it's just your love life, your love life just isn't necessarily as happy as you would like it to be. And it's just like, why don't you try injecting that positive energy into um, seeing it you know, and to just seeing the pluses of the fact that this is a negative. You understand? Like, so the fact that this isn't happening right now, what am I now doing currently, or what's currently going good in my life as a result of me not doing that or not having that in my life right now? You know what I mean? And I really think that that is extremely important, okay? That's extremely important. And you're also healing as well. So I'm going to dive into love, you guys. I'm going to dive right on in because I want to know what's going on. All right. I think I'm going to continue on with the... Um, <clears throat> I'm going to continue on with the um, Wheel of the Year tarot deck, all right? And this is by Los Escarabello, I believe. All right. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pull and tap into and tune into the energies of August 2020 when it comes to your love life. Cancer, is it weird that I'm super intrigued as to what's coming in for Cancer? I actually really want to know or um, just what the energy around you is for love. What's going on in love? Because, you know, the original reading is so, you know, emotional. So first card we have here is the star. Isn't that nice? Gaining a lot of healing expansion I think also seeing a blessing or a wish manifesting when it comes to love now um, it's not even like try not to be so whimsical because you can't be as whimsical as you like but it's um, also remember the reality of what your situation is right so when it comes to a wish fulfilled remember the reality of a particular wish may be coming true at this particular time um, have the stars really truly all aligned, but it feels like there's something in your love life or something in a particular romantic connection or even a family connection, whatever it is, in which there's some relationship or a group of relationships or in all of your relationships or in the way that you relate to your relationships and love in general, the stars are all aligning and there is some sort of amazing piece of just gold and something so rare that's coming from the stars all aligning in this situation so nice so i really feel oh look at that the world oh, cancer i knew i wanted to do your reading and we have the queen of cups the king of cups is underlying my first deck ever the rider weight tarot deck and it's like husband and wife are meeting each other we have the star and the world something is genuinely clicking for you in love cancer and I really, I really think you're going to be extremely happy about this. You know, I really, really, really think you are going to be very happy about this. Some sort of wish is coming true. Something that you have wanted is, you know, manifesting or some piece of just understanding and knowledge and clarity is just bestowed upon you in some way, shape or form that just makes you realize, wow, you know, like it just clicks in your head. And all of the suffering makes sense. Or all of the suffering around this particular situation makes sense. But this really feels kind of magical, you know? And I, I'm almost curious as to why something so magical would show me the Five of Swords um, or show me this energy because either it's something quite significant or it's just kind of a way of being in which you're freeing yourself from that you're gonna gain healing from and be able to renew yourself. And here we go, the Four of Cups. So some of you Cancers, you know, everything, you know, you experience some things in love or in a particular 
it, this could be in this particular dynamic, but it genuinely feels like it's a pile up of things, right? Not just in this particular connection, if you are connected, right? But just in general in the past. And you are gaining healing, right? You're gaining a newfound understanding and appreciation and love, interestingly enough, for the bored moments and for the moments of being angry, okay? And I really, I'm not going to say that all of you guys are going to completely make peace with this because even though this does, this could, this does feel like some peaceful, some making peace with it, but it, for some reason they're expressing to me that it's not exactly making peace with the situation, but it is, it is definitely, most definitely an understanding as to why, but it's not like, it's just like, Oh, and this is the only reason why there's other reasons why but it's a reason why to you that makes enough sense to you that it doesn't even matter if this energy still exists here even externally from you when it comes to love your outlook and your perception is completely renewed and your faith when it comes to love is completely restored that is I'm not cursing anymore my channel, right? Because not doing that, but that is amazing, Cancer. And I can't believe that's just one part of your month. That is amazing. Oh my God. How, how special is that? That's so beautiful. Okay, so Cancer. I'm sorry, I just want to adjust my table here. Whenever it's not firmly planted into the ground, it moves around and buckles a lot and it makes the camera shake a lot. Okay. Alright, now we're good. Okie dokie. I'm good now. Alright, so let's see what else. Um, what's another energy that's coming through for cancer? When it comes to love, look at look at how the cards are speaking to me today. You guys are really open to me. I know the people who are watching this probably really have been wanting to hear this information, or this is something that you're gonna take right in. Like you're just gonna take it in and you're gonna be okay with it. And um, because of the star energy, that's the reason why you're so like flowing. And that could be the reason why your whole outlook is like, why can't I'm just gonna go ahead and see the positive in everything. You know, like, why the fuck not? <laughs> you know, because I can. Something you're realizing, whatever it is that the star energy is, it makes you realize that you can see the world in positive no matter what. It doesn't matter, right? And maybe you used to think things were a lot harder than they were and they were always super freaking easy and it was always at your fingertips. And so with the Page of Cups showing up here, I see you really being who you are saying how you feel, expressing how you feel, you know, kind of being a little bit of a teddy bear cancer. I'm not going to deny that. You guys are a little bit of a teddy bear. You know, you're kind of snuggling up to something or someone. Some of you guys could be having a child, giving birth to a child, or finding out that you're pregnant. But honestly, it feels like giving birth to a child because it feels like something that you're kind of doing outside of you. But that's for not for all of you guys, very, very few of you guys. Most of you guys, it's just the way that you are. Possibly with someone romantically that you're with, maybe you could be focused on a younger Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, or this could be you if you're the younger Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, where you're kind of just communicating. But you're communicating your regrets about your fears because I feel like some of you guys may have held back, especially if this is a connection that's already standing. You may have held back in this connection in the past or they may have held back in the connection in the past, right? because they felt like they, they felt like they were gonna regret it. And this fear of regretting things um, was actually something that was very toxic for them. We have the devil and the five of cups. So something that was actually very toxic for them, a very toxic belief that they kind of held on to and um, it made them stop doing, like it, it kind of made them um, hold back. And this could just be you too, right? Where maybe you, held back on love because you were fearful of, of loss, period. And it feels like with the Page of Cups here, there's an apology about this, whether you're apologizing about this or they are, 
or there is and there is this new refound reborn like potential in love okay there's this new potential in love right this is very interesting I know that this is a lot more in is it it's a lot more we'll probably have to clarify this more okay I'll probably just I just want to know more about the situation here Okay, so they want to tell us about the devil. And the devil energy is the page of pentacles. So someone possibly has some fears around money or investing or potential or seeing the potential in something. Um, they have a fear of investing, right? The potential, like the princess of pentacles, yes, it's potential because it's a page, but it is an investment, right? It's an initial investment or it's, or it's an investment of your, of, it's, it's a bigger investment possibly than a king of coins would make because it's an investment of the self. It's an investment of your own time, right? And dedication and focus. It's investment. It's an investment of you because the only thing that the page really has is the page itself. It doesn't have a whole, I mean, it does, it, in this, in this deck, it has a bag of coins, but it doesn't have the chest. It doesn't have all the coins, you know? And it's needing to budget. It also needs to budget. See how she's budgeting her money? You know, and so it's like, even though this is, it seems small, right? But it actually is quite, it is a bigger deal than it seems, essentially, right? But this person or you may have had fear investing into it because you had a fear of regretting investing into it, right? And so this Page of Cups energy is showing up here. And I'm kind of wondering now, if okay it's it's showing up here now because you're freeing yourself now from that limiting belief system or this other person is and now there's enlightenment coming there's enlightenment happening and now you feel like i can be who i am that's what i think it is i really think it's i can be who i am you know but there's still a little bit of indecisive energy because we still saw because there's healing going on okay so you're not going to be fully out there to be in a full-on page of cups, but you're healing so that you can get to that place. And you'll get to that place and the love will grow to the king of cups. So I'm not exactly sure of, of what this is. This could just be when it comes to areas of communication and saying things. Maybe some of you cancers are, you know, hold back on speaking or hold back on, you know, doing things for people or doing things in a connection because you um, are afraid of regretting doing those things. Okay. And it, when it, and it comes to investing, you know, you kind of are like, oh, I could you know, lose this, you know, whatever shape or form, you could lose it, right? Some of you guys, this could have happened in the past and you're healing from it, regardless of you. Okay. So, um, let's see. Final area we have coming on in love. We have some changes as well. The Knight of Swords, some swift changes. Okay. Some unexpected, very quick changes happening. Okay. And this can come in the form of a person, right? A Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Knight of Swords is a Gemini energy, but it can be Libra, Aquarius, especially if they're a younger energy, 25 to 35. I believe the numbers go. <laughs> um, that could be that person. But whether they're that young or not, I don't like an energy coming in like that when it comes to like someone that you're seeing, especially when it describes them as a person, because... Um, Unless they can graduate, it, it's kind of an in and out energy. It's not really stable, stable in the life. But sometimes you don't need a stable energy, right? Sometimes you don't need that. So there is this energy that's coming in really quickly and it's bringing in a change, right? And what is this energy that's coming in really quickly? It's the Eight of Pentacles. It's, I'm hearing work. I'm hearing work. Something's happening along the lines of work, right? The Wheel of Fortune, something very faded is happening along the lines of work and it's affecting your love life because this is love right something that you you when it comes to your job right some change very swift changes happening around your around your job and it's affecting your love life and it's very faded right and um i wonder what the swift change is it's going to be different for all of you guys it's the seven of swords so it's a revealing it's a revealing it's an unmasking right seven of swords reverse I just want another card on this. Okay, it's an unmatched, it's a revealing. 
the the temperance energy huh six of pentacles um some of you guys could be discovering what someone does for a living <laughs> or someone could be um um deciding to go back to work and for some reason it's affecting their love life yeah, something, someone's going back to work and it's affecting their love life. There's a change happening around work and it's impacting your love life. And it's because it's causing things to be revealed that need healing. Okay. So it's very interesting because there's, there's something around money happening. Even if it's not necessarily a job, it could be money just coming in, possibly someone that you love, but it's, it's somehow, um, making you look at things in the, in your, in Love. It's odd. Okay, so let's have a look at why all this is happening and then look at the Oracle energy. And I'm not cutting you guys down, Cancer, when I say it's odd. That's just how I speak. Okay, so let's have a look at why this is happening. Okay, so we have the Strength energy, Ten of Cups, and we have the, the Hermit reversed. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> some of these things are happening because you guys still need to do some reflective work, right? So you guys still need to, you know kind of soul search right so some of these changes or some of these things that are happening in june or sorry august they're happening because some of you guys are wanting to come out of hermitude or you know you decided to come out of hermitude and it was too early whatever now and other things are happening because with the strength card and the ten of cups um you're just deciding to break out of a karmic pattern of being unhappy and you're deciding to be strong enough to go after your happily ever after period Okay, period. <clears throat> I want to just really, really, really harp on how freaking positive the main part. I mean, this energy here overshadows all this other energy. I mean, this energy, it just seems like it could be a message about money or something like that. It seems like that, but it's something maybe you were expecting from love. And it's about a continuous if it is money it's a continuous amount of it and it's faded and it's coming um but it doesn't seem like it's too big of a deal you know it seems like this is the biggest deal for you all right so i'm gonna get an energy for you guys or advice whatever message we have the web weaver synchronicity divine intelligence and cause and effect okay i have to read for that you guys <clears throat> you know i have to Okay, so the Web Weaver rejoices that your creations are far reaching and have positive effects on the many. Every action, every thought, every word and deed is woven into the Web of creation. When the Web Weaver appears as your ally, she grants you the way to others of like mind and intention and lets you know that you are not alone in your endeavors. Just when you need to make a connection, like magic, synchronicity occurs. How freaking, something is happening that is super magical. I'm telling you right now, the star energy, it felt magical. And, and I said that too in the beginning too. Something magic, there's a magical month, Cancer. All right, um, music reverberates through the web and plays in harmony with your own. This is a sign to trust in the connectivity between all events. Magic is afoot for you. If your query is about a relationship, the Web Weaver gives you assurance that a meaningful coincidence comes through to give you reason to hope. Potential grows into reality with care and patience. Remember that the Web Reacher, we, the Web reaches far and wide, and you're only capable of perceiving a small part of it. Trust and pay attention to the patterns you see play out in your life. All things will be revealed through the Web. And the Knight of Swords energy shows up. It's like a revelation or clarity, right? So that could also be what's happening. Discovering what someone does for work, um, you know, or someone possibly making changes around withholding, you know, finances or something like that, you know? Um, either way, it's good for everybody because you're benefiting from it. I don't see this as a change that you're going to be worried about it, you know? If anything, you're dealing with another cancer. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so now we're going to move into your career and your finances. So sometimes in this section, it's just finances. You know, it's just career that comes up. But most times, 
it's or just career or just finances but most times it is a mix between um, finances and career okay so sometimes I could talk about finances sometimes I can talk about career um, it doesn't really matter all right so um, let's move on to that section so cancer spirit universe show me cancer's money and cancer's job you know what's going on how are things progressing or what's going on in the month of August 2020 right so main energy first energy it could be the first thing that happens it could be the main thing that happens we have the two of Pentacles which kind of feels I'm not gonna say this to hurt your feelings but it kind of feels a little boring it kind of feels like you're just kind of feeling like you're just you know on a hamster wheel doing the same thing over and over again and I feel like cancer you could feel like you want to make a change with your work right um, and I feel like a lot of you guys have known this for a while and you're you know I think it could be coming up very strongly in August so that you take a new beginning and you maybe you do something creative but you're feeling it very strongly right and um, it could be because maybe some of you guys Um, I think some of you guys may want something different for your long term than maybe this job may allow for some of you guys, but some of you guys, it could just be that you're feeling this way because, um, maybe things have happened in the recent past within your family or within your home or even within the company. If you run your own business, then, you know, things have happened within the past, the recent years in your business. Um, that has not been the way you wanted it to go and it's kind of been a little difficult for you and I think that it's been mentally overwhelming for you to strategize to have to strategize through a very difficult time and I think that a lot of you guys uh, are kind of feeling like like you could stay or you could go in in some areas in your life or you want to make changes you know like you're kind of like, I feel a little bit of an iffy energy now too, like not just a, 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 an energy of kind of feeling like this is boring, but now I feel an energy of like, well, I could stay or I could go. I feel like Cancer, you may not, I don't think you're really seeing the potential in something that you're doing right now. That's all I can really say, because I, I genuinely feel like you can use all the tools that are around you to get to where you want to get to. And I think that maybe you may not have the exact tools that you want to have right now. And I understand that. And so does the universe. You know, obviously, um, it's, it's natural for us to complain. It's natural for us to not, not like things. And in fact, the reason why we have good things is because, you know, or the things that we like is because when we didn't have things that we liked, we complained about it. We didn't like it. And we got up and we walked away from it, you know. Um, but I feel like when it comes to this situation here in your career... I really think that what's around you right now is exactly what you need to get to where you want to get to. And you got to see that potential within yourself. Some of you guys may not see the potential within yourself because maybe what's around you is within you, right? Um, but then for others of you guys, you may not, it, you know, what's around you is really around you and maybe it's not the way you exactly wanted it to be, you know? It's not exactly the way you want it to be, but there's still some potentiality there, right? I'm not even sure if that's a word, but there's still a strong potential there. And um, I really think that this month, um, especially for those who have listened to this, I really think that you're going to start to see it, okay? And I think that that energy will turn from being bored to being frustrated, or maybe it has already done that, right? It goes from being bored to being frustrated to being you know, um, to deciding to make it work or seeing the potential in it, decide to juggle the potential of the situation. But either way, um, this energy is going to graduate. It's not just going to be the same way. So I definitely feel like that is your career. I don't, I think it could also be your finances for some of you guys, very few of you guys, but for most of you guys, it's your career. So maybe you're making decent money and the money's fine for you. Um, but you know, maybe it's not, Maybe what you're doing to make the money is kind of like, I'd rather not make this, I'd rather not do this. I don't like my job, you know, but what do you really want, you know? And then how is this, what's around you really gonna get to where you are? Because a lot of times when you discover what you really want, um, the things that are around you 
you know, you realize that you've always had the tools around you, but you just didn't know what you really wanted. So I had to wait for that to run out. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the next energy for career and finance. And we have the eight of wands. So I feel like things are moving, but not as quickly as they possibly should right <laughs> or as quickly as you want them to as i will say it right but things are moving but they're not always moving you know um it could be even money like maybe your 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 financial situation you know you're worrying about it right i want to get another card on this eight of wands energy maybe you're worrying about your money right now and there's really no need to worry about it there's no need, okay? So if you start to worry about your finances, Cancer, stop doing that, okay? Stop doing that. Or if you start to worry about um, making changes even, if you run your own business and you, oh, that's what it really is. That's what it really is, okay? So for some of you guys, you're not gonna be worried about your finances. Most of you guys, it's you're not gonna be worried about your finances. Most of you guys, it's around your value, right? It's around, you know, what you're worth. Some of you guys could feel like, I don't know if I'm worth or some, deep down some in some way, which is why the High Priestess came out this way, you're gonna be realizing a very deep secret about yourself, possibly around wondering what value you bring and you're gonna gain some healing. Honestly, Cancer, you need to just understand that the value that you, you, you are the value that you bring. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like you need to change, you know, so you have to see the value in yourself. And it's not even like, oh no, you have to. No, it really is like, you gotta see it, like, it's so clear, you know, or discover that, you know, that's so beautiful to know that about yourself, to know, you know, especially when it comes to your career and your finances, what you're worth. Some of you guys may feel like um, you need some healing, okay? Um, with this Queen of Pentacles energy, you could be feeling shut out, right? Or you could have, um, a way of relating because it can, this could also be tied to a particular person who you feel like uh, makes you doubt your worth or who is kind of sh um no i don't i think when I, when I just pulled on this person this person is very stable um and they definitely if this is if you're the coin they see your value and they see your worth and they definitely don't even want to let you go either i think that this is this has to do with the way that you view yourself i don't think that i feel like if someone is making you feel like they're projecting that onto you, they're not doing that. You know what I mean? It's more so kind of like how you view yourself. Like you don't really know your your worth or you wonder it sometimes. You know, I don't know. But either way, there's this really positive King of Wands energy. And I just pulled the King of Pentacles energy that is around you either in spirit or in person. And the universe will show, send you the person in whichever form that it needs to go in that, um, you know, will, it's not even that this person will do anything for you. I think all the things that are happening for you, Cancer, these are strides and efforts that you're, that you have been making on your own, you know, within. Um, and now you're just seeing it happen outside of you for some of you guys, or it's still an internal journey. Um, but I really see this um, positive energy motivating you, helping you to break out of ways of doing things, of ways of going, just ways of, you know, taking action, whatever, that um, either blocked you or not taking ways of action, which automatically blocks you in your career and in your finances, you're healing that, okay? So uh, you, you, some of you guys have been, have struggled with questioning your worth especially when it comes to how much money you deserve to get paid, you know? Like, if you want to get paid $20 an hour, then fine. If you want to get paid $300 an hour, just as fine. You know, it, doesn't, it really doesn't matter. Just make sure you're being honest with yourself. And that's where you're coming to. But it's also through true healing and star guidance. This is super positive. Because the star guidance energy feels like it's something you just got to let it in. Don't be afraid of it. So, now we're going to move on to the final part of the career and finance spread for August 2020. And what's the last energy we have here? We have the Four of Cups. So, um, <clears throat> this feels like an opportunity that's around you. Um, or maybe, like, you know, I just feel like, you know, maybe you're kind of not feeling so positive about something in particular. 
um, where you're not exactly getting what you want, or you're focused on losses that you've taken in regards to your career, in regards to collaborations, in regards to business ventures, in regards to money. Um, but the universe is like, or there's some offer that's around you or opportunity that's around you. It's not of an emotional nature um, that will ultimately give you what you want, but you just can't see it right now. And the Ace of Pentacles is reversed, and that's my signature. There's an opportunity around you that you just don't see. And it's real, Cancer, it's real, it's real. And it really pays, you know? It really can pay or really will pay, you know? Emperor reversed. Hmm. Give me a minute, Cancer. Okay, so um, the Emperor shows up here reversed. So it feels like this is a poss possibly a possibility to step up in some way in which you're not really doing. And it feels like it's saying, right? It feels like it's saying something possibly even learning about something, but it feels like it's saying something, right? Um, it's an opportunity for you to take charge in saying something, right? Why is always showing up? Four swords, huh? Okay. I see here that there's an opportunity um, that's around you that you're not able to see right now or maybe you see it but maybe you're not necessarily getting on top of it you know take, taking charge of it um, you're not necessarily you're not doing it and you know you could end up manifesting someone or you could have manifested something or someone in your environment who's a little cutthroat um, not very nice, or they could be a domineering, very controlling, very have it their way. Um, and I don't think that you realize that this, you, this person is manifested into your reality, or this situation is manifested into your reality, because you need to take charge of that. You know what I mean? Because you, it's showing you how not solid your own foundation is. You're not building a solid foundation. And I feel like this is an opportunity for you to build a solid foundation, especially if this is a business and maybe it's not going the way you want to go. This is the reason why is because you need to build a very solid foundation. And the solid foundation it has to do with thought, communication, um, clarity, truth, knowledge, wisdom, but more knowledge, right? That some of you guys you may, you may not really necessarily be in this group. This may not be for everybody, right? But what the, what the opportunity is that's being offered here is healing. And this healing is all you really need to be able to step up and take charge. Now, I think that a lot of you guys, you may have already realized this, or you may be, may be doing this, you know, once you, once you, once this comes up, once you get this trigger, because it feels like it'll be a trigger, a little bit of a trigger with someone. Once you get that trigger, right, um, you will, what's it called? Um, you'll, you'll, you'll take the cup, okay, to follow your heart. All right, because now you know what your heart wants, because now you're kind of in tune with how you're feeling and you've got clarity. This feels like it's for someone in particular. And it could resonate with you, it, it could not resonate with you. Doesn't really matter, okay? All right, so um, I wanna have a look at just like a Y card for the whole month for August 2020. We have the two of wands. So expansion wants to take place. I think that, um, you know, some of you guys are kinda a little tired of, of where you are and you're wanting more when it comes to your finances and your career. And you're kind of like, that's just what this is. You're getting there. You're getting there. You can't teleport there. You know, you're getting there. So let me get a tarot card, I mean, an oracle card to close out the reading for you guys for the career and just in general for cancer. All right. So what is the oracle energy or message for your career? This could just be the underlying energy, but this could just be, you know, also, it could also come with advice and 
what you need to know. So we have Paradot Life Lessons. You can break free from reoccurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and the blessing that they contain. And that definitely is this Four of Cups energy. That definitely is this Four of Cups energy. I do see here, Cancer, there's a little bit of melancholy uh, regarding your finances or regarding your career. Let's just be honest. Um, but there is... There, and you know we can acknowledge that there there may be a negative pattern there you know if you if you think that there is then you probably are right there is a negative pattern um, um, so if that's the case you can pray to know the lesson and the blessings that they contain and actually some of you guys may have already prayed to know you may have already sought the answers and so this is happening to bring you the answers regardless of what you know manifests in the 3d for each and every one of you guys um, this is happening for you. It's not happening to you. Well, it is happening, you know, you can feel like it's happening to you, obviously. But in reality, it really is happening for you. It's happening for your benefit, okay? So, um, that's what I have for you guys, Cancer. Thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I'm the Spiritual Barbie. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can go ahead and, um, email me at the email down below. Okay, and I just bear in mind, I don't take every single person that books a reading with me, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and keep filming these reads. I love filming them, and I guess we'll talk um, next month. Bye-bye.